everyone welcome back to another video so in this video I want to do a review of the mixing balls that I received from bornprettystore.com and I'll leave a link down below for these exact ones and a discount code so the reason why I chose these uh, mixing balls is because um, I wanted to try them out for my Mundo Diona stamping polishes and I decided not to get that hand mixer because um, normally what I do, um, as you can see this one really separated, um, and I try to turn them and upside down, upright, to the side, um, but normally what I do is I just take the cap and go like this and mix it, um, but this one is a bigger bottle than my other ones. So what I'm going to do is apply two mixing balls, because this is really thick polish, or stamping polish. So, let's see if I can, ooh, ooh, see if I can do this without making a mess. So there's one and two. So let me get these other ones back in the bag. So I never um, used mixing balls myself, so I'm going to see if it works. But I didn't want to put them all in my polished bottles until I figured out, um, you know, if they work. And usually you can um, hear them, but such, since this is such thick polish, um, you're probably not gonna hear them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and mix this up off a of camera, and I'll meet you back to see if it mixes. Okay, so after some shaking, um, the mixing balls, um, I don't think they will work in the Mundo Diona stamping polishes, um, just because they're just way too thick. Um, so, but I would recommend um, the the mixing balls for, um, you know, your chunkier glitters or a polish that you don't have a mixing ball in um, because I'm sure that would work just fine for those polishes um, but for these I wouldn't recommend them um, and I can't remember if people do use mixing balls for these but I'm clearly not going to use them for my polishes or my Mundo Diona stamping polishes but um, you know for regular polish this is an indie polish and um, some indie polishes don't mix that great um, but these ones are, but as you can hear, you can hear the ball in there. So if you find one that doesn't have a mixing ball or any of your glitters, just add one to it and it will mix it up just fine. So the, I think, I think they would work just fine. Um, but this, this is the amount that you get. So, um, try it out, get get one bag first and then if you find that you need more um, you can always order more but I'll leave a link down below for these and I hope that you enjoyed this review for these mixing balls um, oh and I don't know if these like turn color or rust or anything like that because I like I said I just received them um, but my my thought is I don't think they will so if you're looking for a mixing ball um, these are inexpensive and I have a discount code so check the description box for that and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Okay so I did want to um, add this little clip because as I was putting stuff away I had noticed this so um, I'm gonna there there's already a mixing ball in here. I don't know how many um, but this polish is from Glam Glaze and it is back to back blue. And as you can see, um, and she is re redoing this one, she's adding a different pigment. Um, but this one really separated, and it still works, but it's okay. Um, so I wanted, and I really love this color, and I use them for water marbling. This is from the Graffiti Collection. Um, and I, I would highly recommend these polishes. Um, for water marbling and I have some images on my Instagram and a video as well so I'm gonna go ahead and put two polishes in here because I really want it to mix and with what she had in there it it mixed it okay but not the best but I really wanted to mix because I do love this color 
and they water marble so great so I want to you know add the blue to my rainbow um, water marble so let's just give it a shake Okay, so after um, some shaking, um, it did mix up more than it would have with um, just the one or two that was already in there. Um, but I'm going to leave this upside down and then shake it some more, but I'm sure with more mixing balls it will mix so much easier. And the pigment was really settled at the bottom. So I just wanted to show you that and if you have a polish that settles with mixing balls already in it, um, just add one or two more and see if that helps. So I just wanted to add that and thank you so much for watching.